The United States Marijuana Party or US Marijuana Party is a cannabis political party in the United States founded in 2002 by Loretta Nall specifically to end the war on drugs and to legalize cannabis. Their policies also include other socially libertarian positions. The party is active in Vermont, has local chapters in several other states, and is affiliated with international cannabis political parties. Topic: 2012 presidential election. On September 18, 2012, the U.S. Marijuana Party endorsed Libertarian Party candidate Gary Johnson in the 2012 presidential election. Topic: History. The United States Marijuana Party was started in 2002 by Loretta Nall from Alabama following her misdemeanor arrest for marijuana possession. Nall was the chairperson of the party until she resigned in 2006 to pursue the Libertarian Party of Alabama's nomination for governor. Illinois <inaudible> 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 In 2004, Illinois Marijuana Party leader Richard Rawlings ran for U.S. Congress in Illinois' 18th Congressional District as a write-in candidate. Brian Meyer ran as a write-in candidate in the 12th Congressional District in 2004. Rawlings ran again as a Marijuana Party write-in candidate for Congress in 2010. <laughs> Nebraska. In 2015-2016, Zach Boyko, Mark Elworth Jr., and Crystal Gabell collected signatures for Marijuana Party of Nebraska to be officially recognized. In order to make the ballot, petitioners needed 5,397 signatures statewide. The party also must have a certain number of signatures from each of the state's three congressional districts. In July, 2016, volunteers turned in 9,000 signatures to the Nebraska Secretary of State. However, the Secretary of State said that half of the signatures were invalid, falling short of the 5,397 needed. In 2016, the group changed its name to Nebraska Legal Marijuana Now Party, and organizers began petitioning for 2018 ballot access. <laughs> New Jersey Rastafari cannabis rights activist and businessman Edward Forshan, who founded the Legalize Marijuana Party in 1998 in New Jersey, ran for U.S. Representative for New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District in 2004 as a U.S. Marijuana Party candidate. Forshan got 4,914 votes. <laughs> Results in federal elections Topic: Vermont. Independent candidate Chris Erickson ran for governor of Vermont in 2002 as a make marijuana legal candidate. In 2004, Erickson ran for Vermont governor and U.S. senator as a marijuana party candidate. She went on to compete in 2006, 2008, 2014, and 2016 in Republican Party and Democratic Party primaries, and for multiple state and federal offices as an independent candidate. Erickson was a U.S. Marijuana Party candidate for U.S. Senator and Governor of Vermont in 2010, 2012, and 2016. Chris Erickson left the Marijuana Party in January 2018 and was replaced by Jakob McElwain. Topic. Results in Vermont state elections Topic. Results in federal elections Topic. Washington In the Washington State House of Representatives District 2B election, in 2014, retired union official Rick Payne was on the August primary ballot as a Marijuana Party candidate. In Washington the top two vote-getters in the primary advance to the general election. Payne received 1,644 votes 
Defeated by the incumbent, a Republican, and a Libertarian candidate, Payne did not make it into the November general election. See also Cannabis political parties of the United States Grassroots Legalize Cannabis Party Legal Marijuana Now Party Legalize Marijuana Party List of political parties in the United States <laughs>